All right, first video of 6420 biathlon. And Sadie's welcoming us in. We have all of the all the mechanical signed off, framing inspections been passed. So we enter the front. Here's the gem glass. And we have our six-sided assembly up there. Uh, the insulators got the six-sided assembly. Did you tell them to do that? Or did they just know? No, they know. That's awesome. Okay. Into the office we go. Office, office, office. Nice insulation. Got the half bathroom and the closet in the office. living room the hardest part about these videos is you never know what you're gonna need to see later <laughs> mm -hmm. so we have the first steel beam right here Five steel beams in this house total. The second steel beam right there. Those are important to note. You won't be able to drill into this room easily at all because you have headers at every angle. So actually, let's go into the sunroom first and then we'll, back, we'll work our way backwards. You <clears throat> got water lines behind this wall. Water line running across that roof right there. Or we get across that ceiling line. Roof line. Coming over to the butler pantry, you can see all the stuff in there as well. We'll swing back over. This is the kitchen range area. You can see all the wires right here. Let's go into the pantry pantry. You have a fault wall right here and your plumbing is behind this. This is gonna be an important wall later, I promise. At some point, this is the kind of one, this is what you're gonna to wanna to see. Because you have another water line right behind this electrical outlet also. And then it tees up there. That's the kind of stuff you wanna see, right? Mm -hmm. Got the fault wall. <clears throat> More cables. Cables. More Romex. Coming back over here. Into the butler pantry. There's your central vat going upstairs. Is there multiple central vat spots going upstairs? Water line. Also going upstairs, there's a lot, lot of plumbing above the butler pantry. You don't ever want to touch anything above here. Mm -hmm. That is just a mess of lines and cables. This is exciting though. It's going to be first floor and then second 
Water lines right there, water lines right there, right behind this little section. Yeah, I'll do a first floor, second floor video. That's a good idea. In here? Like water lines and stuff going on up here. Oh yeah, yep, I'll film it. There's all the duct work, there's your sewer stuff. And then again, to Sadie's point, we're gonna get in this corner and just walk down the side. Something about that dryer vent. Um, yeah, we'll worry about that later. Be on the other side. Yep, we'll worry about that later. Um, going into the master. Smurf tube right here, coming down from upstairs is where all your smart cables come through. From this master bedroom, central vac, hidden room, get to that. On this wall, not much actually, on this far wall. And same thing here, you just got the two outlets down there. We'll look up at the beams here. Pretty lucky up here, not a whole lot going on either. Pretty straightforward as far as the wiring. In the walls, you've got another sewer line coming from upstairs right there. All your plumbing in your bathroom. In your bathroom, you won't want to do much either because same thing, you got a lot of wiring up there. And this brings us to steel beam number three in your bathroom, Whew, number three. Don't have anything in here quite yet. Coming through here. Water lines running across the roof of your master closet, along with the sewer pipe right here. And then that comes down to, you have your garden hose spigot loop right there. Almost done. We've got two more spots out in the garage to go through. We're gonna take the shortcut. Into the RV bay where all of your power cords come out, come in here, and all work their way down to your power box. A couple more right there. They all come down into there. And beams number four and five are in your garage. Power cables there. Which brings us right back around to the HVAC. Uh, sorry, the utility closet here. Everything's looking good. And that's the first floor.